How's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to give you five tips which will speed up your edits in After Effects up to 10 times. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced After Effects user, these tips will definitely help you edit much faster than before. So let's jump right in. First, let's talk about proxies, previews, and cache. Yes, I know we're talking about the usual proxy and cache stuff. You may have heard about that before, but trust me on this one. Some of these tips I'm about to share are not so common. All right, guys, first, just trust me. The first thing that you want to do is you want to go to edit, then go to preference, then select media disk and cache, and then increase the disk cache. I'm setting it at 80. This ensures that you don't run out of disk cache easily, which will prevent the program from significantly slowing down and even avoid crashes at times. Next, change the location of the disk cache folder, and you'll preferably want to store this on an SSD or an NVMe drive. Basically, the faster that the drive is, the faster that the read and write speed will be. I'll go into the details of this a little bit later. So guys, next thing, let's talk about proxies. You're gonna to wanna to create proxies for every one of these clips that you import. This is really helpful, especially when you have very large clips with high bit rates, which can significantly slow down your playback speed. All you gotta do is go into your project window, right click on your video file, then select create proxy, and that's it. Now guys, if you're still having playback issues after trying the previous two methods, then you should probably try previewing your clips at a lower resolution. So basically we're gonna play this 1080p clip at 720p, which actually speeds up the playback speeds significantly. Okay, next tip, as far as speeding up your workflow, we're gonna talk about using templates. Using templates to save your precious time is an absolute no brainer in my opinion. They're not only really easy to get, but they're also relatively light on your workstation as compared to building an effect from scratch, especially if the template's built by an actual professional. I usually use a lot of templates regularly on my videos and they've saved me literally hours, maybe days worth of time. For example, check this out. If you're going for that nostalgic or dreamy vibe in your edit, instead of trying to play around with blur and blending modes, you might just use our ePRISM preset pack. These 20 beautiful presets can turn any video into a beautiful, dreamy, nostalgic sequence in a matter of seconds, and they won't even slow down your computer. You can even add to that magic by adding our subtle text animations pack, which will go perfectly with any type of videos, whether it be a romantic compilation or even a travel video. So if you really want to edit faster, definitely think about using templates or presets. Next, let's talk about using plugins. Being able to use plugins is actually a really amazing attribute of After Effects. And guys, don't get me wrong, while some plugins may have the reputation of slowing down After Effects down even further, there are some really, really cool ones that will 100% boost your editing speed. For example, if you do a lot of keyframe animations, you probably know it's a real pain to constantly go in and out of the graph editor to manually smooth the animation out. But instead, you can use this tool called Flow from AE Scripts, which actually smooths your keyframe with just a click, and you can actually easily change the curve if you want more adjustments. Another handy plugin is Textbox 2, which basically allows you to create a shape behind your text, and the shape then follows the motion of the text and even resizes according to your text. Now, there's no need to manually resize the shape every time you decide to make the text bigger and smaller. You don't even need to parent the shape to the text. It does it automatically. Honestly, that's gonna save a ton of time when editing. You can find all these templates and plugins down in the description below, by the way. Next, let's talk about upgrading your RAM and storage. Now guys, After Effects will only run as fast as it's meant to do so. If you didn't know already, every time that you play through the timeline in After Effects, it brings the data into the memory and then later transfers it back to your disk, which is basically the disk cache that we talked about earlier. So basically upgrading the RAM capacity and then upgrading to a faster storage, like an NVMe drive, is gonna definitely help a lot in terms of overall performance. Finally, a few extra tips that I've learned over the years as I've used After Effects. If you're about to use the rotor brush tool on a clip and you know that the effect is gonna only last for a second or two, then cut that particular part out and only use the rotor brush tool on that part of the video. This saves a lot of time when freezing the rotor brush layer that doesn't have to go through all the frames in the actual video. Next tip, make a habit of clearing out the disk cache every time before starting a new project. This not only clears up previous cache files, but it also speeds up After Effects because it doesn't have to load the previous cache anymore. That's it guys. 